Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film this makeup look. I've been itching to play in some green, play in some gold, and I used two palettes. I tried another palette that I thought was gonna be really good, but it turned out to be a flop. You'll see what it is in a little bit, but I'm really excited about how this look turned out. I used two drugstore palettes. So these are palettes that are gonna be easy for you to get your hands on if you wanna try to recreate the look. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, it's time to play. So today I'm gonna to use a mixture of high-end and drugstore makeup. Um, I'm really focusing on more of an eye look today. I've been having this itch to do kind of a green, olive green, camo-ish vibe. I don't know. So I have a few palettes out and I'm going to just kind of dip between them and see which ones I want to use. So let me start by putting some lip balm on because my lips feel chap. I'm using the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm and this is SPF 25. There it is. So we're going to start with that. And this is pineapple. It smells like pineapple. I don't know if it tastes like pineapple or if it's because I smell it. This is one of my favorite lip balms because it has SPF in it. So I'm not going to do like tutorial style. I'm just going to do my makeup. And I'll probably talk about some random stuff with y'all. So... Of course, always starting with primer. And I am going to get this hair out of my way because I'm not going to fight with it like I tend to do in all my other videos. So you already know, favorite primer, what am I using? Cover FX Gripping Primer, duh. And then let me put this headband on. Got a match, you know, blue on blue today. Feeling a little feisty. It's not a color I wear often, but I like it. Okay, and so I just feel like I need to tell y'all this because <laughs> the last makeup video I did, I introduced you guys to one of my wigs and that was, um, I said that her name was Vanessa. However, we're changing things because I revived this baby and I've decided that this should be Vanessa. I'm trying to make sure I can still get like all my forehead bronze and stuff. Okay, there we go. Um, this baby's going to be Vanessa and we're going to change the other wig to Olivia. So just had to update y'all on that real quick. But I'm going to do my makeup how I normally do it. So I'm going to start off with my foundation first and... Today, I'm using one I haven't used in a while. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, and this is in the shade Coco. Hopefully, we ain't gonna have no problems with matching this time. But this one, you can find at the drugstore. I'm gonna start with a little bit and work that in. And then any extra places that need more coverage, I'm just gonna go back over them with concealer. So we're not using as much foundation. I hate the way this smells. It smells kind of like paint. Okay, so as you can see from one layer of this, it gives you really good coverage. I'm not going to do like super, super crazy today, but I mean, if we put on makeup, then might as well put on makeup. The places that need a little extra coverage, I'm just going to go over that with concealer because I don't want to put too, too much makeup on my face. It is hot, so if you can put as little as possible, that is always better so that you don't have to worry about it melting off. Notice I also don't put foundation under my eyes. 
that is because I put concealer. So I'm just trying to have as little product in that area as possible so that it doesn't look cakey. But anyway, what's been up guys? I am filming this. It's Wednesday. This is my normal filming day. And then I try to, so far I've been sticking to a good schedule. I post twice a week and it's been on, at first I started Thursdays and Sundays, but I just switched it to Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I want to see how that does in terms of views. Okay, now I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer in the color Butterscotch. This is not a really bright concealer on me. It's almost my skin tone, but I'm going to go over it with a yellow powder so that'll help brighten it. I feel like this foundation is a pretty good match. But anyway, the temperature here has been in the hundreds. <laughs> Absolutely insane. And I have been still training in my garage, so burning up, but I'm just glad I have a place to train. I know some of my clients, um, like I have some in California. Well, one, just one in California right now. Um, her gym is shut down again because of the virus. So, you know, it's kind of like, I'm not happy about being in the garage in the heat, but at the same time, I have a place to train because I don't know what happened this week, but it was a really rough start of the week for me. And I know part of it stems from, lately I've just been feeling like I really miss my mom. She passed away in... 2015 and a little backstory we weren't really really that close but you know it was like when we got along we really got along but that wasn't often so I had mixed feelings you know because it was like part of me wished I would have had more time of course to spend with her but then at the same time because of her lifestyle we just we didn't spend a lot of time together and I ran across a picture of her in my in my phone and it just kind of brought back, you know, it was one of those moments where we were doing good and it just really made me miss her and for whatever reason now I've been stuck in this little funk of missing her and it's funny because like she was always into I'm sorry, I'm applying powder. This is the Sasha Buttercup powder. Um, she was always really into like all of the extracurricular stuff I did. So when I played volleyball, she was the most obnoxious parent in the st <laughs> in the stands. Um, she used to try to like get mad at me and punish me if I missed a serve or if I missed a spike or something. I'd be like, woman, calm down. You don't even know what's going on. Then, of course, anything that I did, my mom swore she did. So I played volleyball. Oh, well, I played volleyball in high school. Okay, mama. I played tennis. That's one thing she never said. She never said she played tennis. Um, so I always thought that was funny. But I think, you know, I was thinking about like would she be proud of me getting getting out of my comfort zone i'm gonna bake y'all i noticed that i do this when i talk like i'll be mid-sentence and i'll just stop and talk about something else i'm sorry i'm gonna try to stay on task but i'm just gonna bake and i'm actually gonna leave this powder on while i do my eyeshadow so that if i have any fallout it's gonna fall on the powder and i can sweep it away and because this is yellow i'm not too worried about it looking crazy and being too bright but anyway back to my mom she would absolutely love the fact that I'm doing YouTube now because she's always like, you know, I'm so proud of you and so proud of what you accomplished. And she knows how I've always been like super self-conscious about my face. And, you know, I think she would be really proud of me for stepping out of my comfort zone and doing something different. So... I think she'd be proud of me. And so, I don't know, like I've just been in really thinking about this stuff for some reason. And 
the last few days it's been really getting to me and I've been really, really super emotional, like super emotional to the point of like crying myself to sleep the other night just because I felt this really weird, like overwhelming sense of loneliness and sadness. I have siblings. They don't live here. We don't communicate a lot. You know, we just kind of all have our own things going on. And I do have a son, you know, but he's kind of out living his own life and doing his own thing. So we don't see each other much. We text every now and then just to kind of see how things are going. But overall, you know, I'm home. It just, it's hard to feel like, you know, you have family and you wish you were closer to them, but you're not. So I don't know. That's what was going on with me. I'm going to use a different contour powder today, guys, because I always talk about my Tarte palette. But I also told you guys a while back that I love this NARS Skin Deep palette because you can do a lot with it in terms of using it for your face or using it for your eyes. So I'm going to use it for my face today. But that has been what's been going on with me. So just know, guys, like if you're going through some stuff or feeling some type of way, a lot of people are and it's OK. Like I get really weird when I start feeling in a mood or feeling super emotional because I'm just like, that's not for us. You need to stop. We got stuff to do. You don't have time to be sitting here feeling sad and, you know, upset about anything. Like, get it together. But sometimes I have to remind myself, like, it's okay to feel stuff, Barbara. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to, you know, I guess, like, let your guard down a little bit and be a human. I don't know. And then erased all of that because I deadlifted yesterday and I pulled 430 pounds. which is the most I have pulled since I had surgery. So of course that was exciting. The most I've ever deadlifted is 500 pounds. So to say I haven't even been, it hasn't even been a year since my first surgery and I'm 30 pounds off from where I finished, that's kind of exciting. Um, okay, palettes. So I have this Carity palette, which I've showed as my cheapest palette because I got it on sale. I have not used this yet. I kind of swatched it and played around in it, but I haven't officially used it. Um, has some really nice colors. I also have this e.l.f. bite size palette. Little cutie. And then I have this Juvia's Place and this is the Tribe palette which you can see I've stuck my finger in so I'm gonna rotate between these but I'll let you know I'm definitely going for the elf palette actually is kind of the probably the look that I'm going for so I'm gonna start with that actually I'm going to start with the Carity palette and I'm gonna go in with the color Dank let me just put that here in my crease. Uh, where's my pigment though? Okay, there we go. Now I had to kind of swirl my brush in there a lot. So I don't know how I feel about that, but we working with it. I don't think this color is gonna do what I want. So I might go into the Tribe palette. Juvia's Place will never steer you wrong. If you're looking for Pigmented eyeshadows that are not expensive. You can get them on their website or you can get them at Ulta. So this is not going to do it. You would think with all this blue I got on, I would do a blue look, but no boo. Just because that's what y'all thought. All right, I'm going into Juvia's Place and I'm using the color Tootsie. 
And I just barely dipped in there. And now you see some pigment. That's what I'm talking about. Black owned brand. Thank you very much. I really want to try their, um, they have foundation and concealers, but it's so hard to match the shade in those. Like I literally have to make time to go into Ulta and put, put a shade on my hand or swatch it on my face and let it sit and then walk around because they oxidize, which means it gets darker. So I need to like give it time to see what color it settles down to. Y'all know I already got issues with matching my colors. I would rather come home with something too dark than something too light. So next, try this again. Actually, let's see how this green, matte green in the e.l.f. palette looks. There's no shade names on these. So I'm gonna dip into this, this color here and just see. Yeah, see, that's even better than the Carity palette. All right, Carity, I'm glad I got you on sale because I would be mad if I paid $20 for that. There we go. I don't even know if I want to fool with this palette. That's, I don't think I've ever had that happen before. This is how you figure out if stuff works or not, though. I'm going to try, they don't have a color in here I want to use. I might mix what's up. I have this upside down, I know, but it's just easier to show you like this. I might mix this color in when I do my lid color, but right now I'm going to go with the e.l.f. palette and I'm going to take this shimmery green here and I'm going to put that on my lid. Probably have to use my finger, but we'll see. Yeah, that color showing nice. Let's see, I'm gonna go in with the gold on the inner lid. I probably should wet my brush. Oh, this is nice. Okay, Elf, I was talking shit about y'all. Might have to make me eat my words, huh? So what I get. I'm using the same brush, but I'm putting the green on one side and then the gold on the other side, not to mix them. Yeah, I don't think I'm using that Carity palette. I think every video, so I had this idea to do this. Um, it's basically, I'm gonna call it like, use it or lose it, where I'm gonna try something kind of like a first impressions or going through my makeup collection to see what I have and I'm gonna try it. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna throw it away or give it to a friend or something. I feel like I'm pretty experienced with makeup. So stuff, I like pigmented stuff. I would rather it be too pigmented than not enough. So I would rather give a palette that has less pigment, pigment. <laughs> I would rather give a palette that has less pigment to a friend that is just getting started because it's easier to learn like that and then you can progress to stuff that has more pigment than for me to keep it and just have it sitting in my drawer and not even using it because that's wasteful. So, Carity might have to find a new home. Let me, I'm gonna try my finger. I don't know why I feel like I just want this green to be a little more crazy. I'm gonna go in well, let's stay in this e.l.f. palette and see what we can do. I'm going to put this dark green on my outer V. Okay, that's coming. All right, e.l.f., I owe you an apology. So maybe it was just that one, I had truffle, I think. I got it and like the metallic color and it shattered immediately like before I even use it I think it came broken and I just was able to pack everything back in but then it broke and kept crumbling again and I just was not that impressed with the colors but the way these greens are pulling oops that's the wrong color the way these greens are pulling I like it a lot this is coming out like kind of like a cut crease except I didn't go through all those extra steps I want to see if this Juvia's place, I'm going to take this color 
and see how that comes off. If you can see a difference. Oh, I can see that. You definitely could do this look with just the e.l.f. palette. I just, I'm playing. So we're using more than one. I'll go back in the e.l.f. and go in my crease to darken that up some. And just because I want to see <laughs> how this looks with my finger. If you have an eyeshadow and it's a metallic that's not coming off quite as bright as you want, if you go in with your finger, that'll always help. Some people just don't like to use their fingers. I don't mind. Now, just cause we're in the mood to play, I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place palette. And I'm gonna take this bluish greenish color and I'm just gonna put that on the outer V with the rest of this here just to kind of help it blend I'm happy I don't have a lot of fallout at all I don't see anything from either palette okay guys happy with this I'm gonna take this bright green and just a little bit all right guys i'm gonna speed through the bottom lash line pretty much same thing i did at the top do at the bottom you know the drill And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take Coro. This bright shimmery color. And just put that over this gold. Ooh, wee. Y'all saw that? Mm. Okay. That has a little green shift or something to it. Wow. And then just to tie all my shimmers together, I'm going to go back at the bottom with the green here. And just put that right there. Come on, color. There we go. I like that. All right, now I'm going to brush away my bake so now you see how much lighter this looks because i let it sit longer okay so now we are going to finish up the rest of the face and then i'm going to do my liner and lashes and that'll be it i'm going to bronze a little more because y'all know how i am <laughs> I got to laugh at myself. So y'all, my video I did with um the Pat McGrath Midnight Sun palette, my lighting, I just I literally fought with it. Like everything that I shot that day just felt off. And I was so frustrated because I was doing my makeup and it would look one way looking at it in the mirror, and then I would look on my monitor. I'm using my computer monitor so I can see what I'm doing. And I looked so washed out and I was like it's not enough blush more blush more blush. and then when I went back to edit that video I ain't never put that much blush on in my life like I love blush but it's never been that bad and so I was laughing at myself because I was just like you got to get it together with this technology B because you're gonna be out here looking <laughs> looking crazy for blush I'm using the NARS Dolce Vita one of my favorites So I'm gonna go by what I see in my mirror. I'm happy my face has finally stopped peeling. I don't know what was going on with that, but the peeling has stopped. Okay, the peeling has stopped and my face is still holding up. Like I don't wanna jinx it, so I'm trying not to say too much, but 
Your girl showing the little skin. It's not looking bad. We still working on the hyperpigmentation, but like I said, I can deal with that. For highlighter, we are gonna stick with Juvia's Place. I have this Nefertiti highlighter. This is going to bling. Ooh wee. see that? Hold on, let me stop, let me stop, wait. Mm. Mm. Can I get some? Yes. Okay, highlight. I knew it was gonna be good, but you know, you never know, but I knew. <laughs> I didn't dust the brush off. Ooh, wee, okay. It blends though, like it's not like it's blending away but it's almost like it's just like melting into my skin. Yes, Juvia's. And now not putting any extra product on the brush, so don't come for me, but I just want to go back over with my blush brush and blend, melt everything together. No additional product was added. Okay, do my eyebrows. Actually, I'm gonna go off camera, I'll be back. All right, eyebrows are done. About to do my wing. Y'all know the drill, my Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Liner. Wing out to the gods. See if we can get this other one. Okay, wings are done. I'm trying a different pencil today. This is the Rimmel Soft Coal Liner in the color Royal Blue. I just wanna see what the contrast is gonna look like. If you can even see it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it so. It's a little darker than the green, but a nice little extra pop. Carity actually has this kind of grayish, dark brown color. I'm just gonna stamp that on the outer part to darken that and tie it together with this wing. Yeah, I don't know. If I was just doing like a regular old, maybe gold neutral look, the Carity palette would be all right, but I don't know, guys. I don't think this is for me at all. Okay, I've decided to go back in my crease with this dark gray color that I went on my bottom lash line with, with just to darken my crease a little bit more. Yeah, just to add a little more drama. Eyes are done. I'm gonna put on mascara. I'm gonna put on my lashes and then I will be back. All right guys, lashes are on. These are the Kiss number 11s. And this is the pack. Excuse these crusty ones that I've used before. So that's what I have on my eyes. Definitely not as thick as the last ones I had on, but you can see them, they're cute. What am I doing for these lips? For my lip liner, I am going to use the Lorac Secret Agent Alter Ego Lip Liner. This is almost like my lips, but better. Yeah, that's not dark enough. We need a darker color. So we're gonna go back over that with the, ooh, I haven't used this in forever. The Rimmel Ultimate. Can't see that either. Yeah, there we go. For lipstick, we are gonna go in with the Give Me Mocha by Wet n Wild. It's one of their liquid lipsticks. Yes, love it. 
And then of course, you know my signature, we're gonna go in with a little bit of gloss because this is gonna dry down matte. So Fenty Lip. All right guys, this is it. Let me get this headband off, get everything situated, and I will show you the final look. I am in love. Of course, it's green. I love it. The gold shining, highlights shining. Not too much blush, lashes, love the look, love how it turned out. I will have all the products that I use listed below if you're interested in trying to recreate this look. Thanks again for staying through the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I upload videos twice a week, so subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new one. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>